I'm Timmy. I'm Justin. I'm Nathan. This is Three Old Tech Dudes. Today we're talking about, well, we're not even talking about anything yet. We're going to have a contest. We're going to have a contest between three 8-bit computers, all of which you see here. Perhaps you can identify what you've got in front of you. Um, can you? It's a mystery. Can they, can they see mine? Yeah, can you see, can can they see these? Says, I need to take some video. Oh, look at that. <laughs> so, right here is the Tandy TRS-80 color computer 2. In the center, on the well-known mythical blue TV, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> we have the Atari 800 XL. And over here on this, other in this little, corner, in this corner, we have the venerable, often talked about on 3OTD, Commodore 64. What we're going to do is we're going to have a little Basic. Why am I taking a video of that? I'm stupid. Uh, <clears throat> so what we're going to do, we're going to have an 8-bit shootout. We're going to see how fast the basic interpreters run on these machines. What I have done, I've written a program, and we'll put the output of uh, text here on screen for each one, somehow. <laughs> and uh, what we've got... It's got a bubble sort algorithm in it. So we load an array with 50 numbers at random, and each one tries to sort as fast as it can to get that in the proper order, and then we can display it on screen. So I'm going to check here. Yeah. Oh, we crammed ourselves so in tight. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to check here, and we're going to see if we're in the right state. Everybody says run, run, run. So run, run, run. There's a song in it. So what we're gonna do? <laughs> we're gonna count down. And everybody get ready to hit enter. Oh, I don't have enter. I have return. Same thing. You know, actually, they all say his says enter. These two say return. There you go. Hmm. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, that's close now. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Sort beginning on all three. Try to judge. Why. Come on, little guy. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, Should yeah, smoke yeah. me coming out of that Atari? <laughs> <laughs> Hope not. You replaced rubber band in that thing, right? Yeah. You get the new mouse. They're still sorting. Did you give my dribble food? <laughs> you wind up your rubber band style. I am yeah. going to put that, uh, some, some music over there. <laughs> All right. Who's race? Who's going to win the race? Oh, uh, we're still sorting. Oh. The tar is still working on it. Who won? The, the color computer. <laughs> <laughs> TRS-80 oh, did. Oh, and the Atari just now. The <laughs> Commodore and the color computer were pretty close. <laughs> yep. But it, all right, hit Y on yours and enter. You can, you can both do it, yeah. But Y. Okay, yeah. there you've got the array. That one will be one. Oh, you blew it up because of the string thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one. Fun. Sorry. It's fine. It, it just didn't show the array on screen. So, oh, okay. that's fun. So, <laughs> I wonder why this machine is faster. Why the TRS-80 is faster. Because it's better. Because it's better? <laughs> the, the, the yellow helps it. The yellow. Well. <laughs> no, I know what it is. It's because a while ago we took this thing apart and I cleaned the keyboard. Yes. So, it would actually be able to type yeah. 7, 8, and... Uh, yeah, so um, equals and slight, colon. Slight hardware malfunction. <laughs> so, you know, my C64 has got some serious yellow on the front end, too. It's not as nice looking as yours. Yeah, but the top so of it's actually here. still gray. Yeah. This is the same one that got yeah. all the abuse for the power supply rebuild video, which it's running on. So. Yeah. <laughs> um, you got to love these old things. I oh, mean, yeah. The fact they actually still work. Oh, know. yeah. I mean, so, these, things, these things are really kind of old. Yeah, so we've got, you know... The color computer uses a 6809 processor, we think. Feel free to ridicule us in the comments, as you some of you tend to do. There's a 6809 in it. Yeah. <laughs> we did look at that. 
And the other two machines use a 6502. So yeah. Well, old, technically, the 64 uses 6502, which the Commodore actually owned. Yeah. Ammo. Well, technically, the 64 uses a 6510, but it function yeah. fundamentally, it's the same. So okay. that's not a big. See, I difference. didn't know that. I'm not much of a Commodore expert. Um, of these three, I know the most about the Atari. So yeah. <laughs> the uh, and I've got two two 60 C64s and an SX64 at home, mm. which we've seen on the channel. Yeah. Um, gotta get the thing running. Well, it does. I, I just need yeah. to clean the. Uh, I need to clean a floppy drive. Yep. Anyway, you were going on this, so yes, the um, sixty-five or yeah, sixty-five ten and sixty-five o two. The eight hundred actually has a sixty-five o two in it, <laughs> which the Commodore fundamentally is the same is the same processor, but it's actually sixty-five ten. But as I understand, all I did was basically rearrange a few pins to gain a couple extra slots for a couple other non-critical things to make it work, I think is what it sure. was. Um, I'll have to go back and look at that now. But the uh, color computer, of course. So Commodore made everything in that. Yes. Atari, um, for a few reasons, I think Jack Tramiel had just something to do with, um, basically bought a lot of their stuff from Commodore. Yeah, for maybe. that. I've never looked to see because the yeah. Atari chips didn't usually say MOS on them. Yeah, uh, but the Radio Shack doesn't use any of that. It's got, right. They're like uh, TI chips or something. Sure. Uh, or Motorola chips. Kind of um, like, now there's a custom chip in this that drives a lot of, what do they call that? Other than the sound chip. Well, you got the... The, the SID. The SID, the SID chip the sound chip, sound interface device. Sound interface device. <laughs> I can speak, I swear. Mm -hmm. um, and then... The video chip, and that was the Vic chip. Vic yes, two? I think it was right. Vic Two. I think exactly. Okay, right. so um, and it was amazingly good for the day. Sure, um, still not bad today, which is right. weird. I mean, not compared to like you know, extreme HD and everything else. Right. But you know, considering what it was, it's not bad. So right, um, the eight hundred XL is a continuation of the original Atari eight hundred. Yeah, and. Has all the same characteristics as the original 800. Sans the rarely used left cartridge port, um, the yeah. right cartridge port. So basically, this just has the one. Um, these had a chip called Pokey in it, as in Pokey and Gumby. Remember Pokey and Gumby? Oh, Pokey! Yes. Pokey, Pokey is actually an acronym of potentiometer and keyboard. That is what scans well, the the board. It's also the sound generation chip, and was also a big the pokey without a keyboard runner was the so, heart of the atari 5200 as well so. yeah so i wonder <laughs> if they're using the chip that the commodore plus four used no because it was the i mean this was had, something this was an in-house atari too well, it was, okay. it was, yeah they didn't buy it um because that there was a there's a the plus four did some more integration with weird things that kind of mm. put together on that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, which, yeah, unfortunately, even though today they're like, oh, wow, the Plus 4, that's such a rare machine. Now, back <laughs> in the day, if you had one, you were like, man, this thing's junk. Right. Because <laughs> it wouldn't do any, it really wouldn't do anything. Yeah. You had the four programs that came with it, and they were not mm. great. Um, and it would have, there were like fundamentally no games. I also had a C C16, mm -hmm. which was basically like a really dumbed down Plus 4. <laughs> um, horrible. Just, oh, <laughs> not, play with a plus not four good now. So, I've only played with each of these in a limited sense. The color yeah. computer was the first computer I ever personally used. So Yeah. Well, they were really popular in schools around here, yep. like we they said were. before. We had a bunch of them. Yeah. So I guarantee you that this one has probably played Oregon Trail at least a couple thousand times. <laughs> yeah. So uh, I, many, many, many kids have died of dysentery on this machine. <laughs> is what it is. I never played with an Atari 8-bit computer until I bought this one. I mean, I just wanted one, so... I had to learn a, about. So. Yeah, <laughs> I had a friend that had the original 800 mm -hmm. back in the day, and I mean, I never really got to use it much, but it was one yeah. of those. It was like, wow, that's really kind a of a big rare. difference between this and the original 400 800 is that Basic is on ROM like these machines. The original 400 did not have Basic on ROM, and you had to have a cartridge. Oh, you had to have a cartridge. Yeah, had to have a cartridge. Otherwise, wow. it would go into the self test, which this one will if you hold down like one of the buttons when you start it up. I don't remember which one reset maybe. So, well, I like the <laughs> like. So there's. Here's the funny thing, too, is most people don't realize this. So, as you can see it kind of on our side camera here. Sure. There's no function keys on those Harris 80. No, nope, not right. at all. There's no function keys but on any of them, are there? But there's function keys <laughs> on the Commodore. 
and oh, um, yep, through, down right? through here, yeah. Which are just programmable keys. Sure. But on uh, this one, you have a function keys, but you've got other... Ed yep, start, help, select, keys. option, reset. A lot of cartridge games use some of these. I don't know if I've ever yeah. seen help used. So. Well, <laughs> but there's no... but So you can program the F keys on that to do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Probably able to do that on this, I'd I would suspect assume. so, yeah. But they, they simply don't exist on this one. No. <laughs> um, no, that's true. I'll have to go back and look. I don't remember if my 100 has that or not, that, that LCD flat mm -hmm. thing. Um, yeah, we can only bring so many things with this one time because it's a truckload of stuff every day. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know, we all set, set up for this shoot's been quite a event, so you know, we get some. So yeah, yeah. You can see, another thing I noticed is that this computer has separate arrow keys for the cursor. This one you have to use control the control button and hit the four. Yeah, yeah well, and there you and have this shift. one here is even stranger. Is it's only down and right unless you hold shift for yeah, its cursor yeah. keys. That's the right equivalent there. of arrow keys on yeah, the C C C door. So. between like say F one and F two. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Shift. Yeah. Well, and the funny thing is too is that you have delete mm -hmm. on that. Yep. You have. I don't know what it is on this. It's is it delete. delete? Yeah. Delete well, on this, space. it's the back arrow. Yeah, which threw me terribly because <laughs> the program we ran a moment ago, and we'll give it another run here in a minute and see if the results are the same because there could be variance because I used the random numbers, which was probably a mistake. But anyway, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually coded the program on this C64 as well as on this Atari. For this machine, Nathan owns it. I don't own one, the TRS-80 color computer, so I wrote it in an online emulator on a website and saved yep. the screenshots and then had to hand jam it in, which was okay until the keyboard had some buttons not working, including the very we'll important that. equals. But Nathan fixed that. We'll fix it. We got some video of that, so yeah, yeah. we might just show that here. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Making more work. This edits it. Uh, you can always cut it out. <laughs> yeah, true. Um, yeah, so that's cool. You guys want to give it another run yeah, before we finish out? All right, let's give it another run here. Three, two, one, go. You guys couldn't have done that better. The Atari is already clearly behind. <laughs> I should have rigged it. I know, man. <laughs> We rigged it so the Atari would do great, except it doesn't. Yeah. It's worth noting since we're uh, running this, uh, Atari Basic is known to be slow, the original implementation which this is running on. So even on similar hardware, I predict that it's going to come in last every time, no matter what we do. So yeah, they even release separate Microsoft Basic cartridges. So still going. Oh, the color computer's done. <laughs> The Commodore's done. That's repeatable results. That's two rounds identical. And the Atari's done. Now the Atari's done. Well, the Atari did it quicker this time, though. It did. Hit one on the Atari and enter. Or return, or whatever it is. All right, there's your then, array yes. list. And yes on that one. Y and enter. It even prints out faster. And Y and enter. <laughs> or return on the Commodore. It prints out the slowest. That's funny. <laughs> Well, maybe because oh, it, it's got to be the way, for the printing out, it's probably the way that the video chip yep. interacts. I agree, yeah. Because um, they all do it a little bit differently. It's all very low um, level. Well, that was cool. Indeed. All right. Cool. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed 3L Tech News for this week. Like and subscribe and all that good stuff. Well, we should have a new video every Saturday for you, so... Until next time, I'm Timmy. I'm Justin. And I'm Nathan. This is Three Old Tech Dudes. Later. Later. See ya. Three, two, one, go! Oh, uh, it blew up on the Atari. Just like I thought it would. Oh. It has to be in all caps. Oh, this is a fail. <laughs> Let's see what these two do. We can always redo that again if we didn't do this one. <laughs>